Hey guys, my name is Joel Gomez. I'm the artist of La Muerta, published by Coffin Comics. Today I'd like to talk to you about some of the tools I'll be using uh, on this tone paper sketch. We're going to be using the Sakura Jelly Roll 10. Uh, we're also going to be using the Koi Coloring Brush Pen Set. Uh, we're also going to be using the Sakura Pigma Pro Series Brush Pens. Uh, I'll be using the Bold, the Medium, and the Fine Point uh, for today's sketch. Um, just to give you a sense of how I use these tools on a regular basis. I kind of mix and match all of this stuff together uh, and just kind of wing it. Sometimes at a convention or as a commission goes by, I just really like to swing it around and see what I can do with all the supplies I have. Uh, so we're going to take the opportunity now today to show you how I go about using all of these awesome Pigma products. Alright guys, so today we'll be drawing a character by the name of Loco. Uh, Loco is a... Uh, kind of a new character we've introduced in the world of La Muerta. I'm currently using the Sumo Grip um, lead holder. Uh, it's got a nice feel to the uh, to the pencil, so once you apply a little bit of pressure, you don't have the plastic squeezing against your, uh, your fingers. So generally, just trying to get the basic shapes down of this particular little sketch on the tone paper. Um, a lot of times I spend more time building these things up. Um, it can be a challenge talking and, uh, and drawing a uh, structure like this. Um, already drawing structure for a figure and where things connect and uh, where they fit uh, takes a lot of my brain power. So it's, uh, it can be uh, a challenge to actually be able to describe what you're uh, doing as your brain's really getting a feel for the whole thing, you know? But that's part of the fun. All right, so really quickly, I'm going to just throw in a couple of little ruled lines for my uh, Mac 10. Can't have a crooked Mac 10, right? Yeah, I'm just quickly kind of outlining everything with my Pigma Micron 08 pen here. Uh, as I've said before, the uh, Micron series pens are, are really great for comic work. Uh, at least I, I really enjoy them. I know a lot of comic book artists who still swear by these tools. Um, they're just a very consistent um, pen um, that really gets gets a kind of line quality that you can kind of expect each time. Um, and so I kind of got my introduction into uh, inking or comic book art with uh, these Micron pens. It's funny, I've actually gone from different sizes from time to time. I, you know, switch it up quite a bit. Sometimes I use 01s, sometimes I use 005s. Um, it just depends on the medium I'm using. Uh, again, I, I, I kind of vary it up. I'm using uh, tonal paper for this sketch, and sometimes I'll just use regular Bristol board paper for my sketches as well. Um, but at a convention and things like that, you, you really try to vary it up and have something different and unique that someone might like uh, to see their favorite character um, depicted on, in a certain way you've maybe never seen before. But this is fun. It's part of the, the fun of creating cool comics material. Luca has very interesting kind of mask. Um, kind of has a skull motif. Um, it's really like the one thing that's a uniform in his look. Other than that, it, he, he's pretty much um, a modular guy with different tactical jackets or vests that he uses. Um, We've had him in a really cool old custom car, uh, and I'd really like to play play around with the ideas of doing that more with him as well. So now I'm using the uh, Sumo, Grip, Sumo Grip Click Eraser. I swear by this thing, man. I really like the Sumo Grip Erasers they've been uh, putting out recently. Uh, they don't have a lot of uh, material left back, like, you, or I mean, I should say, as you erase, you don't have a lot of that crumbly eraser material around. It seems to collect in larger clumps. Um, it's just a better eraser. All right, so now we're going to go in with our uh, medium brush point pen Pigma Pro Series brush pens. Let's see how this works out. Yeah, there's a nice bounce to the uh, point of this brush pen. It's the medium one, uh, and it's consistent. It stays 
stays pretty bouncy. All right, so I'm gonna go back in here with the um, bold and I'm gonna start trying to fill in some of these uh, large dark areas. Now we're gonna go in with our uh, Koi coloring brush pen just to get a kind of a, an extra layer or tone in there. Um, like an inner core kind of tone. You got the outer core tone of the paper playing. Uh, it's kind of using it as three tiers. The paper is one, this gray is a darker tone, and then uh, uh, I'll probably go in with like the white out pen as the highlights. Um, but at the end, it's, it's just to help make the image pop. You're just playing around, trying different things, seeing what works, seeing what catches your eye. Um, Sometimes something won't work the way you imagine, but uh, that's part of the that's part of the fun of trying different things with these tools. You know the product is good, and you can consistently get a, a certain line quality you like, um, and so you're just kind of building up from that. So now I'm going in with the Jelly Roll 10, uh, another one of my favorite weapons in the uh, Secure lineup. Um, I use it in my sequential art. I use it in my convention sketches. I use it. I really like this pen. Uh, recently is when they started doing the uh, the larger gauge barrel pens and they're awesome. I really like how uh, you get the consistent line but now you get different sizes of lines you know. So, all right, now again, I'm, I'm, I'm using these to create an effect, like, you know, I'm really playing up the contrast and the, uh, the heavy blacks and then the little kiss of the white outline, um, just to create a little bit of pop with the look, you know, the character and the, again, it's very moody crime noir book, so it's good to um, be able to make things uh, stand out in such a dark setting, you know. You know, the, the main thing is to just have fun with these these things, you know, use them to your advantage and find the, the best way you like using these tools and uh, and move forward with it. All right. Thanks so much, guys. Uh, just to let you know, there's a couple of days left on the latest Coffin Comics campaign, uh, La Muerta Ascension, live on Kickstarter now. And for news, uh, exclusives, and appearances, please log on and uh, join our mailing list at LadyDeathStore.com. Thanks, guys.